Ah, Traveler, Paimon. And you are? Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? Hmm, you must have some big news for me. It's something really important. Please help us out. All right, then follow me. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay, what is this important thing you want to ask me? The doctor, huh? He's that strange-looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, he left Party's D.I. just a little while ago. <sighs> he left already? Yeah, he came looking for me. Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. Sino, you say? Hmm. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. Okay. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the scholar Hypasia away with him. Hypasia? Why would he want her? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. He told me his return to Snezhnaya is imminent. <sighs> so you mean... you're leaving this place soon? Indeed. Otherwise we could have perhaps talked a little more. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask, have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. <sighs> it's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? Oh? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me. To the point of even questioning my general level of knowledge. How unbefitting. Well, you're the only one who's ever made such a request. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. I will personally supervise her treatment and see to her recovery. Would that be agreeable to you? Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the Academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky, and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. I don't know much about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that... Just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities, to a point of near insanity. I would never refer a patient to someone like him. 
I prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits, and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic. Still, his reaction really concerned me. <laughs> I see, I see. Of course, your opinion makes perfect sense. <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with Her Most Noble Majesty, the Tsaritsa, calling for our return. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. It's just as the Academia said. You're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question, yet didn't care for my answer. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. <sighs> I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. I don't think I missed any details. Frankly speaking, I don't want you to do anything too risky. Now that you know a little more, it should be easier for you to stay safe. Sorry we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, all of this may have started because of me. Recently, my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the Academia and assist him with his research. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but there's something off about this most recent batch of letters. The handwriting and tone are both familiar. But some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, and three dots stand for a rainy day. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. I believe... something may have happened to him. <sighs> I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you were like me. Someone already working at the Academia to investigate this matter, right? I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Hmm... If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. If you don't see me there for an extended period, that's your cue. Alright, we've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. I know what I'm doing. On that note, aren't you also being quite distrustful of your alma mater? The Academia, yes, but my master is a man of integrity. 
Even when I was a student, I was worried he'd get in trouble for sticking to his beliefs. I suppose he's lucky to have lasted so long. But in the end, it still caught up to him. I see. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. In that case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Oh, by the way, which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? That way. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. <laughs>